All right, and we are back in the lobby bar for the week of December the 12th, 2022. Brian and Michaela here with you. And Michaela, we are halfway to Christmas. December the 12th, that means you've got 12 days uh, till Christmas Eve. How are things coming? Are you stressed? Um, no. <laughs> no. Convincing. Convincing. <laughs> are you? Uh, no, absolutely not. No one is. No one listening at home is. Um, if you are not stressed, uh, kudos to you. Send us uh, your tips and tricks for how to uh, deal with your holiday stress levels and uh, get all the things accomplished. Because it always seems every year is the same. Every year, I think next year is going to be different, going to be ahead of the game. Things are going to go smoother. But then, uh, I don't know, it comes down to it and I, you run out of time for everything. Happens every year, Michaela. Every year. Uh, what we made time to do uh, this year, though, about a month ago, was uh, make our aged eggnog. And yeah. so that's exciting. Uh, we made time to do that early. And so uh, I know that that's around the corner for me. Um, but yes, we've run out of time to do a lot of things. Um but there's still yeah. 12 days left. There's 12 days of Christmas left. There's there's, 12 there's days. Hope. There's 12 days it's of a hope. season of perpetual hope, just like that's, Home Alone. That's mom that's right. Said. Yeah, that's just what Kevin McAllister's mom said. Yeah, it's a season of perpetual hope. And that is what that's what we're here to do. And today, Michaela, I brought something that I thought is pretty simple, uh, really handy uh, thing to think about. Uh, you know, during the holidays, you're always having people dropping by unannounced. You're always uh, having random get togethers or have to go to a party or uh, do something. So um, I came up. Well, I didn't really come up with it, but uh, here's kind of a, a tip and trick for everyone as you're looking to throw together a last minute uh, cocktail and every Everyone loves this cocktail, right? It's the vodka mule. It's vodka, uh, ginger beer, and a little bit of lime. That's easy. Everyone loves it. It's refreshing. It's the perfect summer drink. But uh, you can uh, turn this into a Christmassy, uh, wintry concoction uh, like I did today. Ooh. So in the lobby bar, I am throwing together a Christmas mule, which is just some pear vodka. Uh, that same ginger beer, and then you can garnish it, you know, kind of however you want. Actually, I saw that some people were like doing these warm, like a hot toddy kind of thing. I don't know how that sounds, but you can garnish it with the cinnamon stick or with some like allspice berries, clove. Uh, that's what I did with mine. Um, you know, just kind of kind of winterize it up. But there's a lot of really good flavored vodkas out there that are more uh, Christmassy themed. You got you got pear like I did. Uh, you can get mm -hmm. you can go like the cranberry root, uh, mm -hmm. you know, you mandarin. Uh, there's all sorts of flavors that, you know, kind of tie in with holiday themes. And it's really yeah. easy to, to throw together. Just keep a bottle of that on hand and you are ready for an impromptu night of cocktails. Yeah, I'm super excited about this. Um, if you're going to do a mule, uh, I don't know how much it matters with um, vodka. But a uh, real mule is supposed to be in like a brass cup is it, or copper, copper cup. Copper, um, yeah. Yeah. So don't, so, drink, don't drink out of brass cups. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Um, copper. We've got some. Uh, I'm excited to give this a shot. Uh, the cinnamon cinnamon stick garnish, I think, is a is a nice touch because you can actually kind of grate some of that in if you want, or you mm -hmm. can just leave it in. Uh, you know what would be really cool? is if you put it in the pear vodka and just let it infuse for a few days. Oh, okay. Oh. I bet that yep. would be tasty too. I, I like I like the sound of that. You could uh you could toss in a little dash of, of Fireball. Um, you know, uh, use your liquor cabinet uh, as your oyster and uh, put these together. You want to make things as simple for yourself as you possibly can these last twelve days because we are in the home stretch. Uh, everyone has a lot of shopping to do and uh, family to visit and all that stuff. So uh, keep this in mind when you're looking for something quick and easy to put together. Um. You know, and maybe maybe this was easier to put together than the Golden Globe uh, nominations that came out of nowhere. Uh, we're going to be talking about those uh, over on our, our Patreon. They just they just showed up this morning, Michaela. They did. They did. I showed up. Uh, I, I don't know. The, they showed up on my screen at at the news this morning. And I was like, what is this wholesome goodness? Not only that, uh, they're actually being shown this year. Uh, which That's is interesting. <laughs> I, I hope they've made yep. the changes that they keep saying that they're going to make to actually be inclusive and not 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 cruddy. Um, and so, yeah, there. But th it's showing in like just uh, January 10th. So we don't even have a lot of time. We're going to talk about all of these things on the Patreon site. So, um, yeah. More reason to join the Patreon for a small $2 a month. Do it. Make That's it right. Yeah. P 
patreon.com slash shrink the movies come and find out what we think about the uh, dumpster fire that is likely to be uh, the Golden Globes for sure but what was not a dumpster fire Michaela that is Black Panther Wakanda Forever that was a really good movie uh, we talked about that on Patreon too but that brought in another 11 million dollars over the weekend it's uh, still riding high uh, on the top the the movie theaters did not make a lot of money uh, this weekend because I think it was all hands on deck they were getting the rows cleaned they were getting fresh orders of popcorn <laughs> in they were getting the, the soda machines stocked up well, I hope they were doing all this cleaning. That's what I really hope. But we've got something coming out this week, Michaela. Uh, and I don't I don't even know uh, what to think about it. I'm very excited about it. Avatar, The Way of Water uh, comes out uh, all the way from 2009, the first Avatar. So we've been waiting uh, 13 long years for this. It's, it's going to make make a lot of money. I know that, Michaela. But uh, what it, do you think? Avatar, Way of Water, are you looking forward to it? I am sure. <laughs> great i mean we that's what we need we need another three and a half hour movie uh to watch this season no i am excited about it i'm excited because the visual effects are going to be stunning um even if i'm not into the story uh, i don't know much about the story um if it's a continue i think it's a continuation of the family that's kind of created at the end of the last film uh spoiler warning uh avatar um in the original avatar if you've not seen it you've had 13 years so i i don't feel everyone that. in the whole world <laughs> saw it i think Clearly, i mean i made, think so i think so like, and ev- yeah it everyone's made like gonna a... have to see it this year though everyone's gonna have to see the new one in order for it to make any money i think well that's that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, it's uh, it, it made a lot of money. The original Avatar, just shy of three billion dollars. It was the uh, highest grossing box office film for a long time until I think uh, Avengers: uh, Endgame. I think uh, uh, took it off the uh, the top there. But yeah, it's going to have to make a lot of money. So for some comparison's sake, uh, I looked up last year's Spider Man, which also came out on December the sixteenth, same day. Uh, it made five hundred and seventy three million dollars by the year end. So Avatar over or under five hundred and seventy three million dollars uh, in just a little over uh, two weeks. Oh yeah, it's going to make more than that. I think it will. It is definitely going to make more than that. I am very excited for it. Um, I really enjoyed the first Avatar. The story, you know pretty simplistic it was a story we've seen a lot of times um and a lot of people uh find is that is a reason to gripe about it but all stories are recycled in some way or another so but the visuals of it were incredible and james cameron uh you might know him from like terminator 2 or aliens two of the greatest sequels of all time uh and this is this is his sequel this is his baby uh he's had 13 years to work on this thing he put all the building blocks into pandora in the first one this thing is gonna blow people away i think it's gonna be Uh phenomenal i really hope so i i can't wait i've been very lackluster about it just because i i i'm not excited about sitting in a theater for three and a half hours but aside from that i do think it's going to be uh james cameron you know he doesn't really disappoint Uh, even titanic right people didn't love titanic you want to make fun about the two people on one you know boat thing fine you do that it was amazing. It paid and it and it was respectfully done. I think this the you know, his heart's in the right place when he's making these things. And you're right, he's had 13 years to not mess this up. So <laughs> let's give it a shot. We'll see what happens. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. So that's coming out this week. Let us know if you're uh, planning to make it out to the theater to see it and what you thought about uh, Avatar. And let us know if you've uh, mixed up one of these Christmas mules or you have your favorite sort of uh, combination of flavors. Let us know that. Um, This week on the main show, we've got a Christmas story coming. So definitely looking forward to that. And we'll be covering a Christmas story Christmas, uh, the sequel that just came out a couple weeks ago over on the Patreon. So make sure you check that out. But for now, Michaela, we need to mix up another couple of these Christmas mules uh, because I need something. I need something to get through the next 12 days. Uh, We're going to have to rest up to uh, make it through Avatar for sure. So why don't we mix up a couple of those and we will talk to everyone next time in the lobby bar.